Giant mints will cheer you up. A huge pie will cure your cold. And mini pancakes will amaze everyone. How can you make giant and miniature candies and have fun? Find out in our new video. The girls are in a park. Dolly always has her favorite Altoids on hand. But there is one little problem. She runs out of them so quickly. Dolly sighs over her empty box, but cunning Jessica is better prepared than her friend. She takes out a big box of Altoids. And she's not going to share. Cover a rectangle lunchbox with silver acrylic paint. Coat mint Mentos with pink food coloring. Evenly spread it over the candy. Cover the lunchbox with parchment paper. Put the colored Mentos candies inside and sprinkle them with cornstarch. Print out a big Altoids label and attach it on top. What's better than a walk in a park? Only jogging in a park! Dolly sets off in pursuit. She sees big and delicious Altoids under every bush. But it's not that easy to catch Jessica. She knows a lot of secret places and hides in the leaves. And the candies run away from Dolly again when victory is very close. And where is she supposed to look for Jessica? Lift your head up, Dolly! Here she is, right in front of you! All of a sudden, the heavens give Dolly Altoids. She's so lucky! Dolly's been dreaming about them for such a long time. Dolly is always smiling and never sad. The world gives her an interesting thing as a reward for being positive. It's either a toy or a box. She wonders what that is. Jessica knows the answer. This is a giant candy box, the exact copy of her baby Pez. Hot glue a rectangular cardboard box. Paint it white. Coat a big styrofoam ball with black acrylic paint. Painted Mickey Mouse face and eyes with white paint. Shape light clay into a muzzle. Cheeks and a nose. Attach it to the white area of the ball. Shape light black clay into a tip of a nose. Add eyes. Cut ears out of a black glittering foam rubber sheet. Hot glue the ears to the head. Attach the head on top of the box. Bend red cardboard and fasten it to make a box. Put in the cardboard piece with the Mickey Mouse. Hot glue a stand to the bottom part of the cardboard box. These are Mickey's feet. Attach a red tongue to the face. Knead white fondant to make a thin layer. And wrap a corn bar in it. Place the bars to make a row like sweet pillows and wrap them in foil. Attach a big Pez label on top. Jessica gives her friend the candies, but now Dolly is trying to think of something to fill her empty toy with. Where can she find giant candies? She won't have to spend a lot of time looking for them because Jessica just happens to have candies of the perfect size. They're an ideal fit for the body of a big Mickey Mouse. Plus, they are very nutritious. Now we have energy to play! It's so cold outside that it feels like we are in Antarctica. Dolly has put on everything warm she has in her wardrobe. But Jessica is way too hot for this weather. She says that wearing one sweater is enough for her. Not even a cold wind can scare her. And of course, Jessica's nose starts running after the walk. Someone needs to take care of her now. Dr. Dolly is already here. First things first, we need a warm blanket. Like this. And what about your temperature? Well, we can't do without sweet diagnostics here. Let's see what we have. We will take your temperature with a chocolate straw. Now we know. Your eyes need to be fed too. Let's take a test with a sweet smelling croissant. Achoo! Oops! This croissant can't be eaten anymore. It's crystal clear now. The doctor prescribes the best treatment for the patient. Therapy with a giant pie.
Finely crumble 17 ounces of short crust cookies. Add 7 ounces of melted butter. Mix it and put it into a springform pan. Press it down thoroughly with your hand. Bake it for 5 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Peel apples. Slice them into circles. Sprinkle them with sugar and put them onto the crust. Cut hearts out of phyllo dough and cover the layer of apples with them. Put it into a heated oven and bake for 40 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Take the pie out of the pan when it's ready and cut a big triangular serving out of it. Jessica doesn't want to eat this giant piece of pie, but if a doctor says she must do it, she will. Jessica definitely loves this treatment. She quickly eats the entire sweet medicine. There you go. That's a whole different story. The illness went away and the pie came her way. Jessica is an intern in the most popular restaurant of the city. She has to show everything she's capable of. What will she cook? Tiramisu with the flavor of happiness? Fortune cookies? No, it will be way more delicious. These are maxi pancakes. Mix two eggs with a cup of sugar. Pour in seven ounces of melted butter and 17 ounces of milk. Keep mixing and gradually add nine ounces of flour. The dough has to have a milkshake consistency. Fry pancakes on a big non-stick pan without any fat. Place the maxi pancakes onto a plate to make a stack. Cover them with chocolate or strawberry topping and decorate them with frozen strawberries, raspberries, and currants. Jessica is ready to present her dish. The strictest restaurant critic in the world appears. This is Mademoiselle Ratatouille. Poor Jessica. Mademoiselle Ratatouille is notorious for being picky and attentive to details. She doesn't like the vibe in the kitchen. Why is it so messy? She's not happy with that, but Jessica wants to fix the situation. She quickly cleans everything. The poor girl is sweating from how hard she's working. But she reaches her goal. Mademoiselle Ratatouille starts her taste test. First of all, let's measure the size of this big pancake. Well, well, it looks like a record. And the most crucial thing is how this pancake tastes. Mademoiselle Ratatouille would rather not eat it. This fork is not polished enough, but Jessica wolfs down her pancakes. Mmm, so yummy. Mademoiselle is missing out. Hold on, Mademoiselle Ratatouille. That's not it yet. Jessica is ready to amaze the critic with one more dish. These are miniature pancakes for a very slim restaurant critic. Cut circles out of the maxi pancakes with a wide cocktail straw. Place them onto a miniature toy dish. Add a few drops of chocolate topping and decorate with pieces of berries. If Mademoiselle Ratatouille doesn't want to taste the giant pancakes, then she will probably enjoy a mini version. This mini serving is so itsy bitsy that you can't even see it without glasses. Mademoiselle Ratatouille makes up her mind to taste this unusual dish. Jessica is excited. Well, it does taste nice. Mademoiselle Ratatouille is happy, and it means that Jessica will be a chef. What a beautiful autumn! Dolly and Jessica really love this time of year, and the feeling is mutual. Fall even gives them a gift. Giant Mentos candies. Roll white fondant between your palms to make a ball. Lightly press it to get a thick circle. Place them one after another on a thick layer of foil to make a row. Wrap them to make a signature mint package. Print out and attach a big Mentos label. Huge candies fall on the girls like autumn leaves. 
Now that's a surprise from nature. Come on, let's taste them. Mmm, they are sweet and delicious. Now the friends will have more fun walking in a beautiful autumn park. Did you like our unusual recipes for sweets? Then write in the comments which giant dessert you will cook for your friends. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new delicious recipes on Troom Troom.